Welcome. So today we're going to talk about Twitter and Salesforce integration. Uh, essentially what we can do with Informatica Cloud is the Twitter mentions, which are things when people mention your Twitter ad address. These might go into the marketing department so they can know when people are talking about you. You have friends timelines, which is when all the different things that your friends are doing on Twitter. Um, and then of course direct messages is, is kind of like an email, but it's all Twitter based. And so what we'll do here with the uh, Informatica On Demand is we'll take that information from Twitter and we will sync it up with Salesforce cases um, to capture that case information so we can do something about these tweets that we get. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is um, Salesforce right here. Of course, I'm going to log into Informatica On Demand right through the app exchange. Um, I do the single sign-on. It takes me right to Informatica On Demand where I have a list of different data synchronization tasks that I can make. So we'll go ahead and make a new one. We're going to do Twitter friends uh, first to show you how it works. Uh, we can come over here and we can upsert that data. Uh, and that's the step one of a six step wizard. So uh, now that we've defined what we're going to do, we're going to pick our source target and then we're going to map our fields. I'm going to show you how all that works. So as far as source goes, we're of course going to pick our source, um, add some stuff in our Twitter. You know, in this case, we have a credential file. This could be in a database. You could bake it right in. I'm going to have your user hash. And if you take a look at our community site, it tells you how to create that. It's pretty simple. All right, so uh, once you've defined your information, uh, you're going to put that information in to Salesforce. All right, so we grabbed our Twitter credentials. Uh, we're going to put them into Salesforce in cases. All right, and you get a nice preview of exactly the information you're about to put in. So uh, now let's keep on going. Uh, we can do data filters, but we're not going to do that today. Uh, we're just going to take that Twitter information and we're going to dump it right into Salesforce. Um, what we can do here is add this thing called a custom function. So I can pick my Twitter friends timeline as a custom function that I just added. Uh, take my user information. I can do a login. Um, I can actually give it a quick uh, page number to look for. And you know, we keep the stuff kind of configurable for you. Um, and that's all I have to do for my credential file into Twitter. And then I go, what's the Twitter output, right, um, into my case of Salesforce. And I can pick that pretty easily. Um, a couple of things I want to do, I did upsert. So, of course, I want to take my uh, GUI, which is my ID, and link it to my external ID in my case, which I call Twitter ID. Um, I also have something called the origin um, to make this cleaner in uh, Salesforce. You know, let's go ahead and make that Twitter. Right, it's a drop down list that I have in Salesforce. And then of course uh, we can also take our subject, right, and we can grab this uh, description and bring it over here as our case subject. Right? We can also set things like status and different things, but uh, this is all we need for now. Um, so we can go ahead now and uh, you know validate our mapping, make sure everything's good. Um, and let's go ahead and run it. So uh, you know we could also set a schedule up, six, step six. Um, but the schedules, uh, we're just going to run it on demand right now. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go down to my new Twitter friends that I just made. Let's run this guy. And that's kind of neat because you can see actually the number of rows that you read from Twitter. And uh, a lot of folks might set this up every five minutes so that uh, every five minutes you're looking for new tweets. Um, and then of course we did upsert. So any new tweets get added, any old tweets get updated. Of course they're not going to change. Um, but we're good. So we had 20 success rows. All right, so let's go back into Salesforce. Let's take a look at our new um, cases that we just made. Uh, so let's go back in here, take a look at cases, um, and there you go, all open cases. Um, so that's it. So thank you very much for your time, and you guys have a good day. Thank you very much.